Arts. In this video, I'll show you how to create this awesome animation in just few simple steps. Hey guys, I'm AG and welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. In this video, I'm going to use After Effects only to create this awesome animation. So watch this video till the end so you can also create this kind of simple animation in After Effects. Also, if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. Also, before we start our video, I would like to tell you that if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff, then you can check out my Udemy courses as well. All the links are available in the description. Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate I am going to choose 60 frame per second, and duration 1 minute and background color is black color and simply hit OK. Then we will go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section. Then I am going to select my text tool and I am going to choose Babus new font but you can choose whatever font you want and I am going to choose white color. Then I am going to type my text, I am going to type motion graphics but you can type any text you want. Then select this text and go to the paragraph menu and make sure that your text is center text. Then I need this anchor point at the center so I'll press Ctrl Alt Home on my keyboard so anchor point is going to be at the center. Then I'll select my selection tool. Then I'll go to the align tab, align this text horizontally and then align this text vertically. Now this is our main text and now we need to animate this text so let's go to the animate menu and we are going to choose position. Then we will bring down this position downwards then go to the range selector and let's create one keyframe at the start. Zoom in and let's go somewhere around 1.30 seconds and let's increase this value. So now if you see we are getting this kind of animation then go to the start. Along with that, I need to animate the tracking property as well. So I'll go to the property menu and I'm going to choose tracking and let's decrease this tracking value. Okay, and initially the opacity should be zero. So I'll go to the add property and let's choose opacity and let's choose opacity zero. So now if you see, we are getting this animation. Now let's select this animation and let's hit F9 to easy ease those keyframe. Then simply go to the graph editor, right click and make sure that you are using edit speed graph. Select this graph by holding shift. I'm going to move one handle over here and let's move one handle over here. So now if you see, we are getting this kind of animation. If you want, then you can move this animation up to two seconds as well. Okay. So this is going to be my this animation. Now let's go to um, end property. I mean end keyframe, which is at two second. Let's select this text and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press V and let's try to bring this over here. Then go to the character menu and this time I'm going to delete this fill and I'll choose white color for this stroke. Okay. And let's try to make this resolution full so I can see this portion. Then press S for scaling option and let's scale it like this. After that, I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to create this kind of mask over here. Go to the mask and let's increase the mask feathers. Okay, so if you see, we are getting this kind of stuff. Now let's select this text and let's change the color of this one to yellow and let's bring this downwards and let's try to adjust it over here. Then I'm going to select the same layer and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's try to bring this over here like that. Select this mask and let's try to bring this somewhere around like this. You can simply move this downward as well. After that, I'm going to select these two layers and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm going to bring them downward. Let's select those layers, press S and let's increase the scale again. Then select this layer and let's bring this downward over here. Select this layer and let's bring this upward. Okay. So now if you see, we are getting this kind of layers over here. So when, if I see, I'm going to get this kind of animation. Now after that, uh, we need to, to animate this one by one. So I'm going to take a distance of 10, 10 frames. I'll select this layer uh, over here. Uh, or let's go to the start. Let's take a distance of 5 frames. Select this. With the help of open square bracket, I can move this over here. 
go over here, move this over here, move this over here, and move this over here. So if I see this animation, I'm getting this kind of animation. Okay. After that, I'm going to right click new and I'm going to create one adjustment layer. So first I'll get this. Then at two seconds, I'm going to go in my effect and presets panel and I'm going to search for transform effect over here and double click to apply. Then I'm going to create one keyframe as scale and one keyframe as Q and hit U. Then go somewhere around 30 seconds and scale I'm going to decrease it to somewhere around 90 and skew as well I'm going to make it minus 6. Then select those keyframe and I'm going to hit F9 over there. Then go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move one handle over here and move one handle over here. Okay, so if you see this now, we will get something like this. Okay. So if I see this animation in full resolution, I'll get this kind of stuff over here. Okay. Now, after that, I'm going to right click new and create one null object, select all of them, and I'll make it apparent with this null. Then select this null and press P for position. We will alt click on this stopwatch and we will search for wiggle two comma two. Okay. So what will happen that along with this animation, we will get a little bit of a wiggle animation over there. Now let hit U, select all of this animation and press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose this and we will call it as animation or we will call it as text animation. Okay, now after that uh, we need to hit Ctrl N to create another composition and we will call it as map and hit OK. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Y and let's call it as Fractal. Okay. Then we'll go to the Effect and Presets panel and we will search for Fractal Noise Effect and double click to apply. Let's increase the contrast to 300 and brightness to minus 200 or, or let's say minus 50. Okay. Or even somewhere around like this. Then Complexity 1 and go to the transform properties and let's increase the scale somewhere around like this then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect like that then let's make this horizontal and vertical blocks to 50. then go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and let's bring this map over here and let's hide this then select this text animation, go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and double click to apply. So as you guys can see, we are getting this weird kind of effect. Now we have to tell this time displacement that use this map as a reference layer and then animate this. So select this text animation, time displacement layer, I'm going to choose this map and let's choose code resolution, otherwise your file is gonna get heavy. And now as you guys can see, we are getting this kind of weird stuff over here. So to get rid of that, simply go over here, select this fractal and let's try to increase the size as well as decrease this brightness a little bit okay so now if you see this we are getting this kind of uh, glitchy animation over there okay now let's go inside this select all of them and let's try to bring this up to 30 frames so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it as main text animation then i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d around five times so i'll get five copies of it i'll select this last layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for fill effect and i'll keep color as of red select fourth layer apply fill color let's choose blue color then select this third layer apply fill color and choose somewhere around greenish color select this second layer and search for find edge effect and double click to apply and choose invert then we will take the pay hit page down button one time and select this with the help of open square bracket move this over here again page down select this move this over here and follow this procedure somewhere around like this and so now if you see this it will get a little bit like that but your final output would be awesome 
okay now my pc is taking time to load this animation but your final and output will look like this this okay and then you can check out this animation in full resolution okay and after that press ctrl y to create one black solid background and make sure to bring this downwards okay now this is taking too much time so let's see this animation in quarter resolution only okay so if you see this we will get this kind of animation inside of after effects